Here with Handsome Tani Elu and Handsome, uh, it's going to snow tonight, but that hasn't stopped you from uh, rocking your <laughs> Jordan sandals today. I'm, I'm always uh, feeling fresh in the islands right now, so <laughs> I don't know. I felt pretty warm the last couple of days, so I, I haven't, you know, really cared to put on any sweats or anything, but looks like tonight I will have to. So I don't know. I kind of made it a goal to not wear shoes during in the snow. I just want to see how that <laughs> feels. But... You know, we came early the other morning, really early, and uh, I, was, I was saying, man, I don't know how the Pioneers did it walking so cold and early, you know? So I was like, man, it's a good thing I was born in this in this era. I wouldn't have been able to hang, you know? Hashtag blessed, absolutely. Uh, game with UMass this weekend, what's kind of been the conversation this week as you guys go for win number seven? Well, for us, I think right now we just, we have a lot of injuries and guys hurt, banged up right now, so... We just want to make sure that we're playing it safe throughout practice, but at the same time, you know, making sure that we give each other good looks and we're practicing to, you know, our full effort like how we do every week and, you know, making sure that we get the job done this week. So, How have you adjusted with all of those injuries uh, into feeling like you can still put a good product on the field on Saturday? I, I just feel like we have a lot of talent, you know, even as we go down the line. And uh, I feel like the next man up is always just as good. And uh, I feel like the effort level is always there on our team. So we just got to make do with what we got. In the fall, it feels like more of football weather, speaking of weather. But what's your preferred playing weather? Oh, I would probably say the UCLA game was perfect. You know, just playing at night and not windy, not hot, but just, just right. Yeah, I, I think that would be the perfect setup right there. And under the light, so no sun. I'm used to playing at 12 at snow, so yeah. So when we played this past game, it was like, oh, that's not not that not hard at all, honestly. But this week will be pretty interesting. We'll see how that goes with cold air and frosted grass. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> Noon kickoff against UMass. So back to back weeks with that afternoon game. What does UMass do that uh, will create some problems for you defensively, and, and how will they try and, and scheme against BYU? I think um, for their offensive perspective, I think they just, they're going to tighten everything up on the offensive line. Um, I think they haven't necessarily faced like big physical yet, just a lot of big dudes or really fast dudes, and so I just feel like we have a really good combination of both on our defensive line. So they're going to tighten things up, and they're going to try and uh, you know, throw the ball a lot because you know, it's going to end up going to that resort. So I, I just feel like we, if we exer you know, execute our assignment, we'll make them one-dimensional and you know, force them to throw the ball, which is uh, kind of like defensive line's dream, you know, <laughs> let them pass the ball. Don't get as tired, but, you know, you get a reward out of it, you know. So if the corners and – defensive backs are doing their jobs. I feel like the D-line will definitely uh, have some presence given to them this week. How did a really tough first eight, ga eight games prepare you for, um, so it's still tough in its own right, but uh, less tough, I guess, November? Um, I, I think we came to realization that we are a good team. We are a power five you know, caliber. So I just feel like Every appointment, opponent has something that, you know, they're really good at and they're going to, you know, throw at us. But I just feel like the teams that we've faced in the past, you know, we just we, – we've seen everything so far. So, you know, we're just going to just go out and play our game. So, I want – I'm going to say something, and I want you to tell me the first thing that pops into your mind, okay? Uh oh San Diego in December. Oh, man, I'm thinking back home in Hawaii, man. Just palm trees. Actually, eating a lot of food. <laughs> eating, yep. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm not really worried about who we play. I'm more of like, man, let's just go and have some fun. Oh, and no school, man. Woo, no school. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for that. School's kicking my butt. So, see, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. What's your toughest class? Probably say my nutrition class. Shout out to you, Miss. That's <laughs> just <laughs> just pursuit of extra credit. <laughs> no, it's just yeah, nutrition. You have just a lot of things to memorize and stuff like that. But for the most part, I think the religion classes are pretty tough too, for myself especially. But I thought being a return missionary would make things a little easier, but it doesn't. Yeah, it's actually 
kind of hard, but yeah. Can, can you enjoy um, Thanksgiving week to the fullest? Because you have a game on Saturday against Utah State next week, yet you want to eat and eat to your heart's delight, right, Thursday? Oh, yeah. But uh, I, I've been away from home for two years, four years, including my mission, but it, it doesn't really, like, bother me not being there, but I uh, definitely miss my family and all. But the food part, I'm pretty sure Coach Taki's going to load us up. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Fall camp was amazing. I can only think of, of what he's going to do on Thanksgiving, you know. I think that's going to be – we're going to have a fat feast. It's going to be <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah we're going to eat a lot that day, I'm for sure. So if you guys are a little slow against Utah State, we'll know why. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe new uh, our strength coach will make a do a good little warm up before you know burn burn it off a little but you'd be surprised I actually play better when I'm full. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yep. Visions of sugar plums dancing yes, in our heads. Yes, right now. exactly. What what do you eat to get full before a game if you're better full? Shoot. So I usually try not to eat too much of the hotel breakfast food, but I eat a lot of bagels and a lot of bananas. Like the game day, but the day before when we're in the hotel, oh my gosh, I'm talking like six pieces of steak, like three, three, huh? yeah, like I'm talking like, so we have like, um, what's that place, Ruby Rivers, that yep. comes and gives us uh, food on our home, home games, man, they have those raspberry bacon steaks oh my gosh <laughs> I'm, t I'm, f I'm not even joking I, I eat I'm starving about six of those and uh me Travis too because he's my roommate and we just stack it all he can eat all he wants right now yeah, yeah he can lucky dude but <laughs> I know I I noticed I was getting just a tad slower if there's something I'm gonna do different next year I'm not gonna eat that much on travel on, on when we travel in the hotels you're limited to five steaks Maybe five and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Limitations. No, no, no. More steak, less potatoes. There you go. <laughs> less carbs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too much cheese on those potatoes, man. <laughs> We're with handsome Tani Elu, BYU uh, defensive lineman. I am intrigued by what BYU has seen through the first 10 games of the season and want a player's perspective here. What do you feel like is BYU's best win so far? Man, I feel like the most memorable win would probably be the Mississippi State game. But, like, achieving, like, I feel like doubt that Michigan State was, like, not the best team this year. But, like, going into it, their record wasn't as bad. You know, we were coming off of some losses as well. I feel like, you know, they came in thinking that, that you know, we both came in thinking we we're going to both win or whoever's going to take it. And so I feel like that game, bef knowing the outcome now, like maybe not Michigan State, but I'd say before that, like we, I would say Michigan State was probably the most in, like accomplishment for us and just proving that, you know, we can hang out with, with those other teams out there. So I, I'm telling you right now, everybody, that Brigham Young is on the, on the rise. And, uh, we have a good leader, and, and we have those behind him. And this team is, uh, it, it's only begun on what is about to happen. I'm, I'm serious about that. I'm pumped to play after hearing that, but more importantly, eat steak. Raspberry bacon steak? Yeah. It's, it's, what? That's the greatest thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh, yeah. I don't, I, you would have never thought raspberries would create such a you know, good taste in your tongue, you know. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I actually really appreciate that at midnight, too, because I take a couple extras upstairs. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that. You know? I take a, yeah, I take a couple extra with me and just wait till, like, 12.30 when I'm, like, really feeling hungry, and I'll eat it again. Handsome, between all of the food conversation that we've had and your nutrition shout-out uh, with that difficult class, yeah. I, I think you need to pursue a career in food, man. After football, of course. You know, maybe, maybe. But I think for now I'm going to stick to football. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Thanks for the time, Handsome. Oh, my pleasure.